So now we've talked a little bit about ordinary least squares estimation. We're actually going to derive the formulas for beta naught hat and beta one hat using that particular criterion. The first thing that we need to do is to set this problem up in a way that we can actually solve it. So we want to, so we know that the residual sums of squares for a simple linear regression model is the sum from i equals 1 to n of each response minus the fitted value for each observation. We take that difference and we square it. So we have the residual sums of squares and we want to minimize the residual sums of squares with respect to beta naught hat and beta 1 hat. And the question is, how can you go about doing that? So pause this video for just a second, think about that, and then uh, we'll talk about how you would go about you go about minimizing the residual sum of the squares. Okay, so how do we do this? So we're just trying to minimize a function with respect to two variables. And so just like you learned way back in calculus, one way of solving this problem is by taking the derivative of this function with respect to both variables. We get two equations with two unknown variables, and we can solve for the two unknown variables. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to take the residual sums of squares, and we are going to take the partial derivative with respect to beta naught hat. You have to be careful here. There's chain rule and things like that. Uh, but this is going to be the sum from i equals 1 to n. 2 times yi minus beta naught hat minus beta 1 xi multiplied by negative 1. And so we're going to set that equal to 0 and solve for beta naught hat. And so this is a constant, this is a constant, so I can divide them out. And I get the sum from i equals 1 to n yi minus beta naught hat minus beta 1 hat xi, and now I can simplify things just a little bit further. So basically I'm going to apply this sum operator to the different variables here. So I get the sum of the y's minus n beta naught hat, since beta naught hat is just a constant even though we don't know it, minus beta 1 hat times the sum of the x's. And once again I'm trying to solve for beta naught here. And so I'm going to take this and this to the other side. And so I get the negative sum of the y's plus beta 1 hat times the sum of the x's. I divide through by negative n, and I get beta naught hat equals y bar, right, because if I take the sum of the y's I divide by n, I just get y bar, the sample mean, minus beta 1 hat x bar. I notice that I've done what I needed to do with the negative sign here. So this negative and this negative uh, multiplied it by each other to make a positive value, and this negative multiplied this positive variable resulted in a negative over here. So our ordinary least squares solution for beta naught hat is the sample mean minus beta 1 hat times x bar. And so we actually solve for beta naught hat in terms of beta 1 hat, which means that we need to figure out what beta 1 hat is before we can actually solve for beta naught hat. Okay, so now that we solve for beta naught hat, you're probably already thinking, well, what we need to do to find the OLS solution for beta 1 hat is to take the partial derivative with respect to beta 1 hat, and set it equal to 0, and solve for beta 1 hat. So why don't you pause this video for a minute, try to work through that particular derivation, and then we'll look at the solution as a class. Okay, well I hope that your derivation was successful. We will be talking about the derivation just to make sure that everybody is on the right page here. So we're taking the derivative of our residual sums of squares here with respect to beta 1 hat. And it's going to be the sum from i equals 1 to n, 2 times 
yi minus beta naught hat minus beta one hat xi, and then I multiply by negative xi, right? So I have the power rule, the chain rule, all kinds of fun stuff. I'm gonna set that equal to zero, and I'm gonna divide through by all the constants again. So I get the sum from i equals one to n, yi minus beta naught hat minus beta one hat xi times xi. And I'm going to multiply this xi through. So I get the sum from i equals one to n, yi xi minus beta naught hat xi minus beta one hat xi squared. And then now that I've done that, I'm gonna apply the sum operator onto all these different parts. And so I get the sum of yi xi minus beta naught hat times the sum of the x's minus beta one hat times the sum of xi squared. Okay, so now I have beta one hat, I have beta naught hat, and I've actually already solved for beta naught hat. And so I'm gonna substitute what the previous work that I did, the previous computation I did into here, so that this is a, so that this is an equation involving beta one hat alone. So I have the sum of yi xi, and beta one hat was y bar minus beta one hat x bar, times the sum of the x's, minus beta one hat times the sum of xi squared equals zero. Okay, let's simplify this just a bit further. So we get the sum of yi xi. And I'm gonna have to be a little careful here as I multiply this out. So I wanna multiply y bar by the sum of the x's. But if you remember, y bar is just the sum of the y's divided by n. So I'm gonna get minus one over n, the sum of the y's times the sum of the x's, plus beta one hat, and then x bar is just one over n times the sum of the x's. So I'm actually going to get here one over n times the sum of the x's squared, minus beta one hat times the sum of xi squared, equals zero. Okay, so now I have rewritten this so that it only involves beta one hat being an unknown variable. And so I am going to factor out uh, beta one hat here. And I'm gonna get one over n, the sum of the x's squared minus the sum of xi squared. That equals zero. So now that I've gotten to this point, what I wanna do is I wanna take the parts involving beta one half to the other side of this equality. And so I'm gonna get negative beta one hat times one over n, the sum of xi quantity squared minus the sum of xi squared. <clears throat> now I'm gonna divide by negative of this part right here. So I'm gonna get the sum of yi xi minus one over n, the sum of yi times the sum of xi divided by the sum of xi squared minus one over n, the sum of xi quantity squared. And so basically what this amounted to was taking this negative one, multiplying it into this part, in which case these two things just switch order in signs, and I divide by the updated quantity to get this. So beta one hat is the sum of yi xi minus one over n times the sum of the y's times the sum of the x's divided by the sum of xi squared minus one over n the sum of xi quantity squared. And in fact, 
there's lots of different ways people, or lots of different equivalent forms that people use for beta 1 hat. And so some other forms that you can use are the sum of xi minus x bar times yi minus y bar over the sum of xi minus x bar squared, the sum of xi minus x bar times yi times the sum of xi minus x bar xi, uh, and then we have what we wrote on the previous page. And so these are actually all equivalent. You can show that these are exactly equal to one another. It just depends on canceling some terms out, uh, adding zero in special ways, and doing the derivation, etc.